I talk to my atheist friends about this all the time. One of them, there was a, a, a movie theater shooting in 2012, and a guy went into a movie theater and shot up a bunch of people. 17 people died. And I remember my friend who was an atheist, and we talk about this stuff all the time. He posted on Facebook uh, a letter from God. And God said in this letter, where was I when these 17 people were shot and killed? Well, I'll tell you where I was. I was in the same place that I've always been for every atrocity, which is nowhere because I don't exist. That was the letter. And so I just kind of calmly jumped on the, 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 the chat and I just said, so, so God doesn't exist because this guy went and shot up 17 people, right? So who said that shooting 17 people was wrong? Where did you get that? Because from, actually from an evolutionary standpoint, this might actually be super helpful for your tribe, that these 17 people died. So, so where did you get the idea? And he kind of just responded, he said, well, let's, maybe let's talk about this in private. <laughs> because the argument begins to fall apart. And you can't build a worldview on an argument that contradicts itself. That the minute you want to put God on trial for allowing suffering, you're bringing to the courtroom a concept of suffering that you would never have unless he gave it to you. 